Hello fellow hitchhikers. This is going to just be a short video about some of the ways that I earn passive income with my crypto adventures. Um, I suspect the best play would just be to hold on to ETH or Bitcoin, uh, accumulate it and hodl, and uh, just keep dollar cost averaging in and not do all these other activities. But my sole purpose isn't just increased profits. I'm also wanting to learn and experience and get a sense of what is actually happening in different spaces and not just what's being promised. So um, everything I've been playing with is from the uni drop and from the one inch drop and some of those uh, token drops that have happened in the past giving me some funds to play and learn with. This is uh, Uniswap liquidity pools and I have found the best performing one is the Axie Infinity SLP ETH. Uh, it has done uh, very well. There's lots of transactions in and out. A lot of people are earning SLP as an income and selling it in order to get ETH to off, off ramp into a local currency. And uh, other people are buying SLP in order to breed and to play the game and do things. So it has a, a lot of transactions and other than the ETH going up in price a lot. Um, it's fairly stable, and so that, uh, what is it, uh, impermanent, impermanent loss, I can't remember the exact word, but uh, the loss of when one token goes up too quickly in value compared to the other. So some loss there with ETH going up so high, but still pretty good passive. I plan to let this just sort of sit there for the next two years and see what it does. The other one that's doing really well with earning passive income is the RFOX. Now it's not earning so much in terms of uh, transaction fee proportion, but with the Red Fox, they are providing a, a, an airdrop every month. If you can maintain $650 total worth of uh, liquidity in the pool, you get a portion of an airdrop every month. And that's turning out to be about $30, $40 of USD value for my $800 that I have in there. So uh, definitely recommend a liquidity pool for the R Fox uh, in order to take part in that. In that regard as well, RFOX has another way to earn passive income, and that is with the COGS. So Red Fox announced uh, staking rewards. It's going to be starting up at the end of the month, and it's going to be every 90 days you're going to get uh, RFOX rewards and tokens. And purchasing a set uh, of tokens and then getting these returns in RFOX is a little bit of a calculation game because you want to figure out what is the... Uh, best return if you're looking at this from a passive um, passive uh, income perspective or passive rewards these are these are more like staking rewards so uh, in a different tutorial I go through how to use the wax Explorer but I want to just narrow down exactly what I'm doing so I'm about to do it today and then I'll, I'll show you uh, when they actually release the ability to stake this in the next week how to do it so I went through and it took a while um, with the wax Explorer and I toggled on and off all of the different sets and I came across this one anomaly here the rare blood orange superset would only cost me 17 will only cost me 1790 wax in order to complete that set and that means it'll pay for itself at the current value of our Fox in less than two years I'll get full return on uh, my money now if our Fox goes up in value as is, as I suspect it will I will get a return in our Fox value sooner than two years so um, again this is you know ETH itself will probably more than double in the next two years so maybe ETH is the best play but uh, I'm enjoying the COGS ecosystem I'm enjoying the COGS community and uh, I think I want to take part of this and you never know what other types of bonuses will come along uh, those people that have staked uh, multiple sessions in a row might receive some extra token or um, extra airdrop or have the ability to participate in something that other people don't and it's those those kind of things that are making this a lot more enjoyable for me I mean if I just look down here at pink border 13 it would cost 3400 wax so you know double the cost and one's not even available and you go down to this one it's 3600 wax in order to do it 2200 wax I mean there was several I made a list of about 10 uh, maybe 11 of them that were under 2500 wax in order to complete and this is in the rare supersets 
I've been going through each one, and most of them have been like, you know, ten times the the cost it would take would take uh, ten ten years <laughs> in order to get my return based on the staking rewards. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I click this, open up a new tab, and start purchasing uh, to to get the Blood Orange 16 set. I don't know if there's enough there for two. If you want to do that one. Or if you want to take a look here, another good one to consider uh, was the Black 17. It was only 1900. Uh, anyways, there were several several in here that were under 2500, and uh, I think would be worth it. Yeah, the Black 17 is only 1900 wax. So, well, what's this one here? Well, that's a common. Uh, the commons only pay um, 112 in a year so this is a 10 times value not worth it because uh, it's a common common rating okay so i just wanted to share that with you i'm going to go ahead and start getting this set so that i'm ready for the end of the month in order to uh, stake this and see if i can get my my value back within a year